Hey guys, Barry here. I just wanted to mention that this video is part of a course that I have on Udemy. If you'd like to support my work and get the full course, please use the link in the description below to get it at a discounted price. Thanks guys, back to the video. Hey guys, what is up? We're back from where we left off and uh, in this episode we are going to go through trying to add a library so that we can use to style our components. There's a library called styled components that we can add to our dependencies here if we would like. Uh, what I recommend is for semantic reasons is you separate dependencies up into your normal dependencies that you use with your project and then you have dev dependencies which are for just your stuff that are only pertaining to your developer environment. So all these type things and testing library stuff, this stuff all belongs into the dev dependencies. I'm not sure why Create React app doesn't just set it up like that automatically maybe they're just trying to be simple but I think it's good to move that um, the other two react scripts and TypeScript also need to go down here and react and react Dom they get used in our main source folder so we don't need to move those so I'm going to save those um, your your node modules will look the same so I don't really need to run M npm install for that but what we're going to do in this, this episode is we are going to add a, a library and we're going to say npm install. And what we usually do is you'd say dash dash save dev to make it go into the dev dependencies. But this is going to go into our main dependencies list. Oops, I accidentally back tick there. We're going to just normally install uh, styled dash components. And once this is installed, it should theoretically show up in our normal dependencies over here. It should show up right under there because npm package.json is nice. They make everything go alphabetical, which is just what I love because I'm OCD that way. So once that is done, uh, we can start creating our style stuff. So I'm actually going to make a new directory in here and I'm going to call it styles and in here I'm going to I'm going to make a root index file um, just I'm being pretty preemptive here and uh, our package has worked so as you can see uh, style components version 4.4.1 has been added your might your one might be a bit different it might be a higher version uh, but that's okay it should theoretically still work if it doesn't then just roll back to this project and see you can check I might answer in QA the Q&A section how to actually fix that but in general we've got our styles folder here and it's going to complain because this is empty but it won't be empty for long we're going to create a new file called global.ts because I want to make a global styles uh, folder so in this global project we're going to import create global style and that's actually all we need for now from styled components which is great we're going to create global style and in this we're going to export default create global style and inside that global style we add this backtick thing now bear in mind please don't confuse backtick with um, single quotes they are different backtick is that that button next to the number one on your keyboard and this is to make these literal strings and in here I'm going to say this is basically CSS so it's like a CSS style sheet it's like a root CSS file it works exactly the same so here I'm going to set our height to 100% just because I've messed around and I figured out to make it work nicely on mobile and all views we need to do that I'm gonna make my body a body will be living inside html so that's why we wrap it just so it's we're referring to the body that's inside the html you can have it outside if you want but i just kind of like this hierarchical view of it so i think it's cleaner so we say display flex i like to have it match the the actual semantics of how it's, it's written out in html and it actually does give it a better preference which is also good so this will overwrite the default body Flex direction column, height 100%. This is going to be just a lot of typing in margin zero. So that's all good. And then before I go on, if we look at our actual 
yeah, our public directory, we have this index file here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Again, can totally remove this stuff if you want to. I'm going to do it because I think I should. Um, I think it's pointless. If you don't want to delete it, it's fine. You can create a new React app and read it off there if you wanted. But uh, in general, uh, we have this index.html file here and we have this root over here. Um, I was just thinking we can call this um, Sudoku app if we wanted to. And then here we can just say Sudoku app created using create react app. We'll say bolt using just so it's less weird like that. We can change that to whatever we want. You can say it's by you or whatever. But basically the way React works is it, it renders everything into this div.root here. So the next thing that we're going to do in here is reference the ID root. And then we're going to add some stuff into here. So we can, again, notice I'm doing all my CSS in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to do it as I'd had it written before. So my background, I would like this to be, it's going to be quite interesting, a radial gradient. Um, I know it's weird, you probably haven't seen this before, and the color that I ended up choosing was to sort of match the React app um, background color. So they had this 2C3, 4. Um, so I've got that color. I'm going to copy it and, and do it again. And I'm just going to add like a gradient filter onto it. So if I add another CC, it should work. And we're pretty good to go. Um, I don't know why this is freaking out. Why is this freaking out? It shouldn't be freaking out. It should just work. I don't know. Um, let me just keep working and see if this does anything. I do realize there's another error. Oh, and I think I know what's wrong. So this over here, it says it could not find a declaration file for module style components. This is a TypeScript error, and it recommends you try npm install at types slash style components if it exists. Otherwise, add a new declaration file. I'll show you how to do the new declaration file later, but for now, let's just try add that and fix that. I know this video is becoming a bit long, but I think it's good that we do this. So we're going to say npm install. And because it's a dev dependency and not an actual dependency, we're going to say dash dash save dev. And we're going to say at types slash styled components. And it sh should work. And that might fix this error here because I don't know why it's expecting things to close. It is closing. Uh, maybe it wasn't closing and it should be. So the color here, I'm going to make our default color for text in this file to be the same 282C34. I think that that would be good. And then display, can make it flex. And font family, we can make font family into sans serif. So you'll understand why I'm doing all this later. Um, again, this height needs to be 100%. Again, the only order in this styling is because it's alphabetical. I'm weird that way and I like it to be alphabetical. If you don't want it to be alphabetical and another way makes more sense, you can go for that. Right, so I think this makes sense. I have no idea why it's giving me this issue. It shouldn't be giving me this issue. I think I think we are pretty good. Like that, that is right, that is right, that is right. I think it might just work. Anyway, in here we want to actually uh, export our defaults. Remember this, we're exporting the default here. So we're going to export the default from this again. Export default as global styles from dot slash global. I'm hoping that just fixes itself. If it doesn't, I will, I will tell you what's up. And then in our root application, we can actually go and check out what to do here. So we should... We should import um, import that global styles that we just exported from dot slash styles. So again, remember this dot slash styles refers to the index file in here, and we're gonna um, we're just gonna randomly stick in. Uh, what we can do is you get a React fragment. A fragment is just an empty 
empty kind of um, wrapper because you can't just put a two components in here you need to put like one so this is seen as a fragment you can also import fragment from react and then call this uh, fragment and fragment but the shorthand for this is to just do it like that and you know me I like to be a minimalist so the simpler the better to me and I think that's simpler so here we just put in our global styles right at the top just like that and it should work so I'm hoping if I start my project now that it will it should open my browser again and do its thing um, it's busy loading I think close the old window this will hopefully give us the background that we want. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that this is just my IDE acting weird because look, it seemed to compile successfully. Um, although we do have some issues. You know what? In the next video, I'm going to fix these issues because this should be working and I'm not sure why it's not working. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sorry about the delay. Okay, so after a bit of scrambling around, I realized that I added the semicolon in here for no reason. And that's what broke everything. So now if we rerun this, everything should work. We've got our hello world there, it's in black, but that's because we're gonna have like a white card thing here later. So sorry about that guys. Uh, I'm not gonna fix it in the next video, I just fixed it now. Um, <laughs> so that was a bit of a funny one. You see we have this nice little circular gradient. We start with the light and it gets lighter as it goes, or it gets darker as it goes out. So anyway, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to implement some theming for this. That's just a bug with my own VS Code because it's like, you know, it's fixed now. Um, it should be fixed. Oh, there's, I'm missing a semicolon over there. See, this, this red arrow stuff is there for a reason. It's telling me that I suck. Um, oh, that's why my font family wasn't in the middle. You see, fixed more errors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess right now and just all these issues going on, but I think we're good to go. Anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next video um, where we will implement theming. It's going to be great. Catch you then. Cheers, guys.